everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and today I'll be doing a how-to guide on how to remove and reapply thermal paste on off your CPU. And you will be needing some alcohol, just kidding, <laughs> as well as this mystery cuppy thing and some mystery applicators inside. Hmm. Here's everything that you need to remove thermal paste, old thermal paste, and thermal compound for when you're reapplying. So we're gonna start over here. I'm so glad that the Arctic Silver 5 arrived in the mail on Amazon, cause I was like sweating this morning, like, oh my gosh, what if it doesn't come? Anyway, <laughs> um, but uh, so I went to Best Buy to get the Antec Formula 7 Nano Diamond Compound. I hear this is really good too, but I also read that it's really thick. So it is recommended that you spread it using this applicator. However, I've also read that if you spread it, you can get air bubbles, so that's probably not a good idea. So that's why I'm so happy that the Arctic 5 arrived. Now to clean it, you will need a cheap coffee filter. And the reason why you don't use paper towels or maybe Q-tips is because it leaves behind lint or there's a possibility. And so that's why coffee filter is the way to go. And here's the cleaning agent. We are using isopropyl alcohol, 99%. It's best to go 90% or higher, but 70% could work, I suppose, but 99% is the way to go. And what's great about using isopropyl alcohol is that it evaporates faster. First, go ahead and fold the coffee filter into fours so it's just you know, easier to work with. And then open this up. I poked a little hole here so that it doesn't just you know, come out in huge quantities. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dab this like this and make sure that it's not super duper wet. So what you could do is maybe use a paper towel and just you know, pat it a little bit so it's just not leaking all over the place. And now we're gonna go ahead and clean the CPU. Good thing there isn't a whole lot to clean off, but I could still show you. And plus I'll take it off the heat sink too, but gently do not rub uh, on top vigorously because I doubt that would be good for it. But uh, just gently rub it in until it is all gone. Okay, it looks like it's good to go. Very pretty, very clean. Now let's go ahead and take off the thermal paste on the cooler. As you can see, there's still a lot of this pre-applied thermal compound on the cooler. Um, and that's probably because all we did was boot up the system. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that. Oh yes, this is going to take it some time. <laughs> Look at that shine. Iron Man's heart is beating once more. <laughs> but anyway, so that's how you do it. Very simple and just remember gently and also wait about two minutes just in case, you know, you want the alcohol to completely evaporate before you install this. And now to spread on some of this Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste, there's a variety of ways you can do it. The two best I find is just a pea-sized dab in the middle or an X shape, uh, but you could also do a line as well as just, you know, all over the place. I'm just kidding. And of course, use the applicator to spread it. But like I said, air bubbles and the like. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncap this and start the gooing. So here we go. I'm just gonna do the pea-sized blob, shape blob in the center. There we go. I mean, there's a multitude of ways people do this, but I think this is good. Alrighty, so that concludes that. Last up is to install the cooler, which is easy as pie. But we've gotta make sure that the Corsair logo is facing this way. All right, now then, make sure to match up the points. There we go, and then, I gotta very carefully do this because I can't lift this anymore. So I've got to screw this in. And that concludes this tutorial.
Well, that wraps up this video on the how-to guide of how to remove and reapply thermal paste on off your CPU. And of course, this is a um, isopropyl alcohol, 99%, as well as coffee cup and, you know, the rest. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it informative. And remember, there's no, I suppose, right way to do this. You could do it whatever works best for you and your system. And I definitely want to, in the future, be able to have a test rig so I can test out which applicator or application works best. And I'll show you the temps and all that. So that's in the future. <laughs> all right. So if you did like this video, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. And please follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook fan page, Joanne Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, please don't forget to hit the donate button so I can help expand this channel and feed this techie. I started up a new channel called JTL Lifestyle where I talk about everyday random gadgets, so be sure to check that out if you want and subscribe. Also, I started up a new channel called JTL Cuteness Overload if you need injection of cuteness into your everyday. One last thing is storeenvy.com where you can go ahead and check out my 8.5 by 11 inch autograph prints that you can buy. I guess all that's left to say is bye bye.